All right, joining us now with reaction to all of today's major stories, former attorney for President Trump, John Dowd, is with us. John, uh, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Um, Thank you, Sean. Let me first go to the Woodward book. We now have you on record. We have General Kelly. I think he has four stars, right? Four? Yes. General Mattis has four stars? Yes. Pretty impressive. Um, it's very impressive. All coming out, in the case of you, what you said is you want to be clear what is written in this book about the so-called reenactment or a mock interview of the special counsel's office, you never referred to the president as a liar, did not say that he was likely to end up in an orange jumpsuit, that it was an honor and a distinct privilege to serve President Trump. Um, what, do you, what does that mean to you of something that you say is totally fabricated is in that book? Well, that's what it is, and that's what it appears from uh, the testimony of other people. Yeah. And I assume that bothers you. Well, it does. It's very disturbing. Yeah. Let but me... it seems to be common these days, Sean. You were on Fox and Friends, and I saw the interview, and you said, with all due respect, you lost all respect for Bob Mueller. He didn't keep his word. He should have declined this case back in November of last year. And he's the one that asked for the witnesses. He's the one that asked for the documents. You know, everybody told the truth. He told us he didn't need any more documents. Here we are a year later. Thoughts? Well, I meant it. I mean, he, uh, it, was his, it was his suggestion that instead of, uh, that we ought to engage and work together. And we said, fine, you ask for the, you get the document list, ask for your witnesses. And Ty Cobb and Jay and I provided them. And, uh, and he said he wouldn't let any grass grow. We, in every meeting and communication we had, we stressed how important it was and how his inquiry was a great burden on the president and interfered with the president's ability to lead this country, particularly in foreign affairs. And uh, he said he took that very seriously. And uh, on and on, he gave me his word he would do it. And we got to the uh, uh, late last year, and he had completed the 37 witnesses. And I asked him, did you have any problem with those witnesses? They were all well represented, all well prepared. And he said, no. Did anyone lie to you? No. Uh, documents, we gave you 1.4 million. But more importantly, we gave you the most intimate notes of the communications and deliberations by the president. Uh, no president's history has ever done anything like that. Are we missing anything? Did we, are there any missing documents? No. You're satisfied with everything you got? Yes. Well, I said, well, what's, what's the president's exposure? Well, the president's exposure is uh, he's a witness slash subject. I said, so he's not a target, correct? Correct. That means he had no exposure. And at that point, we said, well, why don't you just decline? He said, well, we'd like to uh, get back to you on that, but we think we need to talk to the president. And I raised the SB issue, which we had briefed thoroughly. Jay's people did a magnificent job on the briefing on all of those issues. Let me ask you and this. And we said, you got to get, you got to, what, what, what do you not know that we have not given you? that only the president knows. And he could never answer that question, Sean. And that's when uh, I saw a stall going on, and I, I, I just lost complete faith in him because we had shaken hands. He's the one that said, John, we'll engage. We are ones, we said, we're not gonna raise conflicts. We're not gonna raise the legality of the order. We're not gonna fool with all this nonsense. Let's get the job done. This president wants the job done. And by the way, the president gets the credit. He's the one that said, give it to him. Well, John, let me ask you this. You gave him 1.4 million documents. Don McGahn, the White House counsel, I was shocked to hear he gave 30 hours of testimony here. Um, you said he made these promises, but in retrospect, looking at the people that Mueller hired, all these Democratic Clinton Obama donors, Jeannie Ray, who represented the Clinton Foundation, Andrew Weissman, who has an atrocious track record, do you, do you now regret believing him? Um, I, re I regret relying on him because he didn't keep his word. And I believed he would keep his word. But more importantly, the way we did it 
completely protected the president. We've not waived executive privilege. We've not had four years of litigation. We've not had motions to quash grand jury subpoenas. We've not had anybody go in the grand jury, Sean. Yeah. There is no case there. And that's what Bob Mueller ought to face up and do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a very sad thing to see. And then you see the other cases. I mean, you see the Flynn case and the, and the other case. And it's just, it's more this sorry, abusive practice in the prosecutive ranks. Wow. Powerful commentary. Don Dow, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it.